I've seen my analytics and most of my audience is men. And I want to talk to the men right now. Did you know that two out of three guys will experience some form of male pattern baldness by the time they're 35? My late father was one of these, but you can do something now. You've got to try Keeps. With Keeps, a licensed doctor will review your information online and recommend the right hair loss treatment plan for you, then ship it out to you every three months. And you can message him at any point 24-7 with any questions or concerns you may have. They offer generic versions of the FDA-approved medications for hair loss, which makes it more affordable. If you're ready to take action and prevent hair loss, go to keeps.com slash geekdom or click the link in the description and receive 50% off your first order. K-E-E-P-S dot com slash geekdom. Since the announcement of the forthcoming Dragon Ball Super film set to release in 2022, the fandom has been optimistic, albeit cautiously optimistic, mostly based on a statement that was made the day the film was announced by series creator Akira Toriyama, who's also going to be the lead writer for Dragon Ball Super Broly. Now, when it comes to story content... Toriyama is the creator of the series, although some have criticized him for his recent works not really being up to par with his works when he was a younger man in the 80s and 90s. However, that's not what this video is about. There have been discussions among the Dragon Ball fandom that the upcoming Dragon Ball Super 2022 movie is going to be a different, totally different looking film and that it could be mostly created mostly animated in CGI and I think most fans kind of feel that even though CGI and computer generated graphics can work for movies like Into the Spider-Verse or a lot of the Pixar films like Toy Story, Dragon Ball and Toriyama's art style may not lend itself to really working the same way in 3D although we have seen some great great fan made and actually some official 3D animation Obviously, Toriyama's art seems to fit more for 2D. However, the main concern comes from a statement Toriyama made where he stated that they'll be charting through some unexplored territory in terms of the visual aesthetics to give the audience an amazing ride, and he hopes that everyone looks forward to the new movie. However, Herms would kind of correct that and state that what he really was saying was that the visuals are refreshed and have turned out amazing. Now, this is a very vague statement. What could he mean by refreshed? Could he mean that there's a new animation supervisor or a brand new team? Are they implementing new kinds of animation technologies? Is it going to be CGI? Well, I can tell you that, and I'm going to tell you before we go any further that this is going to be an unconfirmed report that has not been double sourced by me. Okay, so I'm letting you know this now. This is an unconfirmed report that has not been double sourced. So if it winds up not being the case, then you know it was a BS statement from the very beginning. But one person on the inside has stated that this film is going to be very different in terms of technology and is going to be mostly computer generated. Now, once again, I want to reiterate that because this has been unconfirmed, it could be that the person who stated this was just trolling, joking around. It could be that a portion of the film is in CGI because... Both Dragon Ball Super Broly and Resurrection F implemented computer technology to assist in some scenes here and there. But the discussion point is, will the whole movie look like this? The logical side of me, specifically, thinks that this could be probably something that's overblown and probably something that is not likely, just based on Toriyama's art style. However, this source has been trusted in the past, albeit somewhat tongue-in-cheek with the way they state things. But I must remind you that until we receive an actual key visual from the film, a poster, a character design, or something, we're just not going to know for certain. But I will say this. Some time ago, there was an interview that was conducted on the V-Jump website. And in this interview, there were higher-ups of Dragon Ball like Akio Iyoku and Morishita, and they discussed the possibility of the future of animation relying a lot on computer animation. And they felt like CGI might be the key to massive sales in the West. Now, obviously, with the success of films like the aforementioned Spider-Verse and tons of the Pixar movies, it is certainly possible. And not only is it possible, but it's also something that could be very effective and could actually work. A lot of Dragon Ball fans are nervous that this is going to end up looking like crap if it is CGI, but... It's a Dragon Ball movie, and with all the resources they pumped into Dragon Ball Super Broly, 
it's hard for me to believe that they won't try their best to make this film look amazing, even if it's not the traditional 2D hand-drawn cell animation. The truth is that a lot of anime has also been receiving these 3D CGI films, and many of them have come out pretty damn good. Something else that has been sent over to me a lot is an article that discusses Toy Animation and PFN jointly testing the use of AI to streamline anime production, with the idea being that with AI, they could sort of make anime a lot easier to produce. However, it's difficult to say as to whether or not this upcoming film will be using this technology only because it appears like this technology is not really used for the fictional fantasy world that is Toriyama's Dragon Ball. This experimental technology seems to work a bit better when it comes to anime that uses real life locations. However, Dragon Ball is obviously based on the real world to a degree. There are cities and landscapes that we have in our world. And so because of this sort of um, pre-processing styled image to take real landscapes into fictional ones, they could always create a new planet or a new location that could utilize this technology. I remember that when Resurrection F came out, there were a lot of complaints about the CGI in that film looking a bit too, well, fake. Same thing goes for Dragon Ball Super Broly. There's a couple of scenes in that film, specifically when Goku and Vegeta fight Broly, to where if you look at them slow motion, it doesn't look very good. But all we can hope for is that by the time that Dragon Ball Super 2022 is out, that the technology will be perfected. But once again, I must reiterate that this is not guaranteeing it'll be in CGI. But at the same time, would it really be that bad? I feel like when it comes to Dragon Ball, I personally am choosing to go in with an open mind. If they choose to go in the direction of having a CGI type of film, like a Spider-Verse type of thing, I think it could be a lot of fun. I think it could still have the same Dragon Ball feel, although I still prefer the classic Cell animation. But I'm not going to let it ruin my experience because I've seen tons of these films in theaters and it's always a fun time in spite of the technology. Obviously, shows like Reboot from way back in the 90s are going to look very basic compared to what technology can do now with animation, even computer rendered effects. Ultimately, however, I feel like this entire story could be chalked up to just being a rumor and nothing more, mostly because of the fact that a lot of the major animators working in Toei, especially the big dogs, are already assigned to other projects such as One Piece and of course Dragon Quest Die, which is having some of the absolute best animation consistency in the history of Toei Animation. Every episode looks incredible and the majority of them that are at least coming out recently, look pristine. But once again, you must remember that Dragon Quest Die is several weeks ahead of schedule and that we don't know the release date of the Dragon Ball Super 2022 film. And because of that, if the film comes out later in the year, that would give the animators plenty of time to switch over to working on Dragon Ball for a few months and get that film going before we actually have its release date. It's all going to come down to when this movie is going to be released as far as how much time they're going to have to produce it and pre-produce it before we all sit in the movie theater to watch it. Please punch the like button in the video. It helps out with the YouTube algorithm. If you are new, subscribe for up-to-date information on Dragon Ball Super 2022, the manga, and whatever else comes. I thank you again, and I'll talk to you next time.